Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video with the Lil Mini, the Lil Mini Cooper. Uh, if you saw the last video where we um, we fitted the the aftermarket stereo to this car, um, obviously that went well, the stereo is absolutely great, um, you know, it does everything that we need it to do. However, what it has done is highlighted the shortcomings of the factory speaker setup. So, in this video, we're going to upgrade them. Now... For the front, we've got a set of JVC two ways. They're gonna sit just here behind the door panel. There's a tweeter behind here, but we're not gonna worry about that. We'll leave that as a uh, factory. And then for the rear, we've got a set of three-way six by nines. Um, yeah, the factory uh, the factory rears are actually six by nine. So um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll have a look at those um, very, very shortly. For the front, we've also got a set of adapters because once the factory one's removed, you need to adapt it to fit aftermarket ones. So we'll do that as well. And we've also got a couple of little wiring adapters um, in order to take the factory wiring to fit aftermarket speakers. But more on that very, very soon. So what we're gonna do, we'll start with the front. Um, and uh, yeah, in order, to do, uh, in order to do that, what we need to do is take the door card off. Now I'm not gonna go through the um, rigmarole of uh, taking the door card off in this video i've done it before um if you want to go and see that i'll uh, leave a link in the top corner right now and also in the description so yeah um four four torques uh, t30 bolts um and then uh, yeah it's, it's, it pops off pretty much so yeah i'll uh, i'll get on with that and then uh, yeah we can uh, look at getting the speakers changed over <laughs> Okay, so there we are. Door card is off and we're ready to go. So, here is a factory speaker with its nice uh, paper cone. And to remove it, all we need to do is whip out four screws. One. Two. Three. Oops, I did drop the screw. Let me recover that before we lose it. Lastly, the fourth one. There we go. Right. And there is the speaker, and there is the connector, and all we need to do is pull it out. Okay, that is the factory speaker removed. Yeah. So this is um, just a paper cone, and obviously aftermarket are going to be a bit better quality, and should give us a better should give us a better sound. Now, as I said, obviously we need to uh, fit adapters in order to get them. Uh, mounting into the door so we'll have a look at that next now one thing i do want to cover um, is the wiring adapters now you can see this little plug here and what we've got here is uh, a set of adapters now as you can see the the plug in there matches perfectly with the uh the, the connector on the loom and um, what i've got here also is another con um, adapter now this one is a different connector now i believe that this one is a pre-facelift so anything prior to july 2004 will um we'll use these connectors and everything july 2004 onwards will use these connectors so it's worth checking that um you know but, uh, beforehand if you're going to do this right then um the uh the speaker adapters so let's open the bag up and take one out. Okay, so as you can see, we've got the holes here, which are match up with the factory holes on the uh, on the door. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the factory screws to remount these back to the car. So um, it's simply a case of getting a screw in the hole. They do only go on one way. You'll see that those two holes there are closer together than those two. And we'll mat them up. Now I'm gonna get a few of the screws in first before I tighten everything down. And 
the last one. Like so. Now I'll snug them all up. And there we are. That is the adapter in. So there's four screw holes here which will match with the the speaker, but the speaker will have screws inside the package. So what we'll do next is we will take one of our wiring adapters. Oh, tough bags, right. And here we go. So we've got two, obviously one for each door, but we've actually got two sets because obviously we need them for the rear as well. And then all we're gonna do is connect it to the factory loom and then these will go to the speakers. Now what you'll notice is that one is wider than the other, positive is the fat one, negative is the thin one, and that will correspond to the speakers themselves. There will be a, um, yeah, there will be a thin and a thick terminal on the back of the speakers. So let's get these open and get them in the door. Right then, let's pop open the box. Slide them out. Which is more easy said than done, come on. There we go. Right. And here is one speaker. So we unwrap it from the bag. And there we are. So here we go, see, one fat one, one thin one. So obviously they'll, they'll only connect in the correct orientation. And you can see positive and negative actually printed on the speaker itself. So this speaker is obviously going to sit in here just like so, and as you can see, the holes in the adapter line up nicely with the uh, with these tabs on the speaker itself. Um, the screws will be inside the package, along with along with all the uh, other gubbins. You get some, you do get some speaker wire if you need it. And here is the little pack of screws. You also get some clips should you require it, but we won't need to because we're gonna, these are self-tapping screws and they will cut the thread into the brackets. So what we need to do is obviously connect up these, uh, these connectors, make sure that they're on good and tight. That's one. And two. Now I'm not actually that happy with that one. That one feels a little bit loose. So I'm just gonna get a set of pliers and just give that a little nip before we put it in. That one's nice and tight, but this one's a little bit loose. So yeah, I just want to work, you can see it's not that tight on there. So I'll just give that a little nip with a set of pliers and that should just help it stay in place. And then all it'll be a case of is just tucking the wiring in and then getting the screws out the pack, screwing them in. There we go, as you can see. That is on there nice and snug now and it's not coming off if we give it a little tug. Both of them on there really, really good. Okay, so what I've done, I've fitted one of the screws to the adapter already just to make my life a little bit easier. Let's connect this plug back on. There we go. Okay, so now tuck all the wiring that we don't need sticking out and then i can hook that on just like so now what we need to do is get all the other screws in and started as i said we're gonna they're gonna self tap So now we can pretend them all down. 
I'm not tightening them down just yet. Because what I want to do is I want to centralise the speaker in the adapter. As best that I can. Okay, so now there we are, that'll do it. Got them central and then tighten them all down. And that is that, that is the front door speaker fitted. So what I need to do obviously is I need to go and do exactly the same process on the other side and then refit the door panels. Um, and then we'll get get cracking on the uh, on the rear speakers. So um, yeah, I'll do uh, I'll do the front one uh, off camera. You don't need to see me do it twice. And then uh, yeah, next we'll start on the rears. Okay, so that is the front speakers installed, and they're pretty straightforward. There, there's nothing too taxing about them whatsoever. Um, once you've got the uh, once you've got the uh, door cards off, it's pretty uh, pretty straightforward. The rears, on the other hand, they're a different story. This trim panel here is where they live behind here and uh, this whole panel here has to come out and it's from here all the way to the boot um, so it's quite a large panel um, and quite a lot of stuff has to move in order to get to them so first things first we need to remove the seat space um, these two springs at either end just clip onto these uh, these little extensions here and then that's that out so well I'll do I'll put this somewhere safe next step is in the boot Okay, first step in the boot is to remove this bad boy. Drop that down there for the moment. And then drop both the rear seats. Now, to get the uh, to get them out, what we need to do is remove this little screw just in here. It's just a 10 mil. And if get, go. get that out. Right, now it's a bit awkward, but in here you can see the pins that come through from the seat and they're held by this by this, um, this bracket here. Now what we need to do is rotate it round using our thumbs like so. And as you can see, it's started to turn round. So if I keep going, eventually, there we go, the pins, will be free to move like so. Now, this end is a little bit awkward because you can't see what's going on, but what you need to do is hold it at kind of like a 45 degree angle and it'll come out. As you can see, it's like a little pin and it fits in there. So you have to hold it at the correct angle in order to be able to pull it out. But that is the first one. So yeah, same with the other one. And then they're, they're both out and then we can start looking at the side panels. All right, the next thing we need to remove is this, uh, the, basically this little plastic slam panel. And to get it off, there's three plastic rivets, one in the center and then one here underneath each of the luggage hooks. And if we just prise them open gently, like so, they'll all come out quite nicely. One, two, and there we go now they're out we can remove the rest of the, the body of the rivet which is just flowing off into the front of the car we'll get that in a moment but yeah that's what they look like um, and there's the, the last one and then it's a case of pulling the seal out of the way then it should come out. But I think what we need to do actually is remove the remove the boot floor first, um, the carpet, because I think it might be in the way. Um, yeah, there we go. So, there we are. Pull the seal off. And there's the trip. And the noise you heard 
was these three cli uh, four clips being released. So I'll put that to one side. I'll recover the the, uh, the plastic rivet that pinged into the front, and uh, yeah, then we can move on. Okay, the next thing we're going to remove is the uh, the carpet from the bottom of the uh, of the boot, and this is held in with one, two um, little expansion rivets. So let's get them out. It's one. These little tools are quite quite handy for for this kind of thing if you've got one. There's one. And there is two. Put them back into where they came from so that they don't get lost. Okay. Now we can remove the boot carpet. There we go. Um, now, as you can see, there's nothing covering the, uh, the rear of this panel. Next thing we want to do is we need to disconnect the seat belt brackets right at the bottom. So we'll do that next. Um, it's literally just a large Torx bolt. Um, I won't bother filming that because it's pretty self-explanatory. Just get a Torx bolt, get them, uh, yeah, your Torx socket, get, that, um, get them undone, and then they're out of the way. And then we can move on to getting the panels off. Okay, that is the seat belts removed. And there's the bolt. Uh, if you're interested, it was a T50. Um, that's both of them taken off. That's that way that the seat belt isn't hindering removal of the uh, of the panel. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the rubber, the rubber like gasket, if you want to call it that, that goes onto the latches for the for the rear seats. Um, pop them down there. They're out of the way. Now, next, one, two, three screws need to be removed. One, there's two, and there is three. Now, if we take the little panel off the inside there, as you can see, now it's quite loose. All that's holding this panel on to the car now is literally the little plastic clips. The ones that like, like, like you have on just on the inside of the door card on the uh, on the front doors. Um, so all we need to do now is basically tease it away and it'll pop all of the all of the clips out of their positions. But what we also need to do is get the the panel obviously around this clip bear in mind on the back here on this side we've got the uh, 12 volt socket and the same on this side we've got the light so they will need disconnecting uh, obviously as we remove it so what i'm going to do i'm going to remove the panel i'm going to tease it out uh, start the front probably get it out the uh, the weather strip um, and then uh, get it out it's going to be quite long-winded because you have to manhandle it but it will come eventually uh, and then obviously we'll bring you in when we've uh, when we've actually made it to the speaker seal out of the way right there we go and there we are and then all we need to do is disconnect the socket Is the panel removed and here is the speaker that we've been trying to get to oh, quite an effort quite an epic getting to this um, but yeah we're there we're there eventually right now we've gone through the epic of getting the panel off we can see the speaker and it's held in place with four seven mil screws seven mils a bit of an odd size we'll whip them out and then so we're out, we can disconnect the wiring behind and we should be good. Two. Three. And four. Okay. Now, there we go. 
that is the factory speaker removed uh, and again it's a uh, it's a paper one and here is the cable and again it's the same same sort of connector on the back which we've got uh, which we've got the adapters for so what I need to do now is obviously unpackage the uh, the replacement and uh, get them screwed in so I'll give me a give me a couple of minutes I'll go and get them out of the box and then we can look and get them fitted okay so here we have the speaker um, this little cover you know they come with it um, and that's just decorative if you were uh, if you need it but we're obviously putting it behind the panel so we don't need that part as you can see i fitted the wiring already and what we need to do is connect it up and it goes that way around quite hard with one hand and there we go now all we need to do is put it in position and screw it in place um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these screws which came in the package and pop them in place all the way around. I'm at a really weird position here. And there we go. Right, what I'll do, I'll get all four of those tightened up and then that is it. Um, all, all, all we need to do is uh, obviously refit the uh, refit the door card, which is the reverser removal. So I'm not going to film all that going back on. The uh, you know all I need to do is get these screwed in, and, and and we're good. And then I just need to do the other side. So what I'll do, I'll bring you back in a minute once we've got the car all back together. Okay, guys, uh, as you can see. Um, the car is all back together. Uh, all four speakers are now fitted. Uh, if you look in the back, you can see all the uh, all the seats are all done. They're all they're all uh, they're all good. Um, the rears are a bit of a bit of a pain to um, obviously get at. There uh, there are some grills over each of the speakers in the actual door card itself, um, which would be handy if they you know if they could pop out, but they don't. So. Unfortunately, it's a case of taking the whole panel out. There is two screws that hold the uh, those little grills in from the inside. One side does pop out, but the two screws um, stop prevent you from taking them fully out and accessing the speakers. So, of, yeah, unfortunately, it is a bit of a lick to get to the rears, um, but uh, the fronts make up for that, I suppose, because the fronts are really, really easy. You can literally fit a front speaker in less than 10 minutes. Um, it is what it is. Now, I have tested them, and I'm really, really pleased with the way they sound. Uh, now, obviously, YouTube will give me a copyright strike if I play some music for too long, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a quick up and then down on the volume just so you can hear. And that's, that's what I'm going to do. Um, otherwise, YouTube will kick off with me and take my video down. Um, but the, the bass response on these speakers is so much better than the factory ones. I'm really, really pleased with the way they sound, and it made it worth the effort um, that we went through. And they weren't expensive either. Um, I think it was around 70 quid uh, for everything, uh, the adapters, the works. So what I'll do, I'll leave a link in the description so you can go and check them out if you want to. Um, anyway, yeah, that is it. That is, that is the whole job done. And um, if you made it this far, then thanks very much. Um, obviously, uh, I'll see you for the next video, and um, I don't know whether it'll be a mini one, but um, yeah, uh, hopefully uh, you'll, you'll, you'll join me for that. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like and comment below, and um, visit me on the socials, the links are in the description. Um, I'll see you all again for the next one, guys. Thank you very much for stopping by.